All right, guys, what's going on today? Today is February 5th. It's about uh, 5.30 here, getting on the dark. So far, we've got about pretty close to three inches. Um, it's pretty fluffy, still coming down pretty good. It's about 5.30 right now. We are going to about 8 o'clock start. It's supposed to taper off about 7.38, so it's about 8 o'clock. We are going to uh, get the crew together and uh, do some plowing. Um, start the townhouses first. Get done, get those done around by 1 a.m. and then start the uh, start the commercial. Get those done probably uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 a.m. if everything goes good. Granted, two things could go wrong and we could be half down townhouses at 8 a.m. You never know. Um, but yeah, then if we hopefully get done with the commercial around 5 ish, 5 ish somewhere in there, start the residential, get all the people in town, get all them opened up and and yeah, maybe done around noon or so. But anyway, uh, here's here my brother. We are going to uh, just, we want to get a little daylight film here of some plowing, so he's just rolling in. Yeah, it looks like it's a good, uh, it's a good three inches. And it's pretty fluffy, so uh, so that's nice. So this is a little bit wider driveway, but most driveways with that western wideout, the standard driveway is about ten feet wide. So with that plow fully extended, just straight out and you just turn a little bit. Most driveways you can get with one pass. Like I said, this driveway is pretty wide, so you can run a couple up and down. But a lot of driveways with that plow, you can uh, you can get it in one shot, which is pretty efficient. Well, that's the bulk of it. We'll go up around the corner and clean up by the house. There's quite a bit up here. This might even be might even be closer to four inches. There's a there's a good amount. So like most of them, this one's uh, really easy. The snow is nice and fluffy, it's pretty cold out, it's probably five degrees or so. Um, but i will back right over there, and then either swipe in, come in from the road here, and push over there, or turn around and push all this right into the pile. And yeah, it's, uh, it's good. After this, like I said, another couple hours, and we'll go out and start our townhouse in there. Yeah, get things going. Two guys called in sick, so. I called uh, a couple other guys that have plowed for me in the past and were able to get them to come and help, so that'll be good. A 
lot of, uh, lot of the flu and stuff going around right now, so I'm a little congested, but two, two of my main guys are not feeling good, so I kind of had to improvise. But anyway, uh, just want to get a couple clips here. Uh, down here is super icy. My last time I popped for the vodka, I could barely get up it. Let's see if we can get up it this time. Oh, yeah. No problem. Dyna Pros for you. Only way to go for tires when I'm in here. Just put fresh ones on this truck. Good uh, tires are a must when it comes to plow. You can't really plow without a good, a good snow tire. It's not all tires are created equal, that's for sure. Alright, we'll get this one cleaned up and uh, I'm not sure where I'll see you next, but I'm sure I'll see you soon. Like I said this before, but what we do on these townhouses is have the skid, pull them out, 130 of them, skid pull them out, truck push them down. Um, you can sometimes put the snow uh, like between the driveways, but they, those fill up pretty quick, so it's best to, uh, to pull it out and then like, bring it down the road a ways. It's a little, one more step, but to push it down the road a ways and then off on there's, uh, there's some bigger areas here. So just uh, like right here, there's a swamp down there, so here you pile it all up and it can melt in and run off down there in the spring without a Cause too many problems. We'll get these done and uh, get on to the commercial. This is the first. This is the first event this year that's ended um, in the evening. Um, really nice. It, it quit snowing at about eight, eight, nine o'clock. So that's nice versus four o'clock. Then you're scrambling and trying to get everything done. You never can. So this is a nice one where we actually uh, we'll actually be able to. Uh, to get done, get all the townhouses done, all the commercial, and probably some of our essentials before morning. So that'd be nice. Today's Tuesday, or yeah, today's Tuesday, and then they're saying like tomorrow. So like probably shortly after we're getting done, they're calling for another like six to eight inches. So that should be good. It's, uh, be a busy couple days. Yeah, like I've said before, it's so hard to get good felt, good footage in the dark. So just do what I can here and there, and make the best of it. All right, so we had uh, the four trucks and the skid run, so we got everything done pretty quick. Got the plowing done faster than the uh, shoveling, because we got two guys shoveling. So let me know in the comments below if you guys do this or not. Do you have your operators jump out, help the shovelers get this done, then move on to the next one? Or do you go and go plow here, plow there, have shovelers go there? We like to do the townhouses, get them done, move on to the commercial, shovel those, get them done, move on to the residential. That's how we do it. Let me know in the comments below how you do it. Do you have the operators keep running, or do you um, get out, shovel, take the shoveling time half, cut it in half, one of two guys, help the other two guys, and uh, get her done, move on to the next one. This is how we do it anyway. Cut the time in half, just get these done, move on to the next one. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys do. All right, we're going to uh, grab a shovel quick. And, uh, shovel, please. <laughs> Knock out the shovel. At, le at least it's not a Kubota shovel. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it is uh, February 6th, 9.30. Getting, getting fueled up here. Um, started, started at 7.30 yesterday evening. Now we're just wrapping up. I don't know about you, but even though this is a newer truck, whenever I'm plowing, working the truck pretty hard, I always put uh, 89 in it. Just for kicks. Look at the back of this thing, she's caked. Most importantly, much better. All right, we're fueling up, and we are heading home. There's a bunch more coming. Uh, it's gonna start later today. Later today, and uh, oh, there goes the ambulance. We'll start, start later today and snow all night and all of tomorrow, so it looks like it's gonna be another busy couple days. Overall, this event went uh, pretty good. A couple guys called in sick, but then I was able to make a couple calls and uh, find a couple guys to fill in. So, overall, it went too bad. Um, kind of starting to figure out that if you, if you need a crew of say six guys. Line up eight or nine, because one of them I was gonna call and say like, one's to be on vacation, 
what have you. It's always going to be something. So always, I mean, it's not going to be overstaffed, but you'll always want to have, you know, a little kind of like a insurance plan because it seems like every event, one guy's sick or one guy's this, that, the other. So it's good to have uh, like a backup spare. So yeah, I'm going to go home, try to get some rest and uh, get recharged up for the so it's supposed to be coming. We'll see what happens. So, yeah, all right. See you in a bit. All right. So I made it home. One thing I wanted to mention was this boss controller. One thing I hate about this thing is that see how these huge buttons stick out. Like you can't even uh, like you put it in the truck here and you get out and you breathe on this thing on any of these huge buttons and it moves. So it's like it, it's like every time you get in, if it's if it's right here by the seat and you bump it. The plows fly all over the place, and if you're cold, stop it, slam it into stuff. It's just a major pain. Every time you have to get out, you have to shut it off, turn it back on, or you put it down there, or it even like tips over onto the buttons and it moves. That's one thing. Another thing I don't like about this controller, like the Western is, it's got this plastic edge all the way around, right to the face of the buttons. So something actually has to go like up in there to get it to move. There's not these huge buttons hanging out. So every time you breathe on it, the plow jerks all over the place, which is a pain. But other than that, like the grip and everything is nice. That little strap is nice. You don't really have to hold it. You just put it on there, shift, whatnot. But that's one thing I want to mention about this controller. I'm not, not a big fan of those huge buttons sticking out. But anyway, um, I wanted to talk a little bit to you guys about uh, networking. Um, we do a lot of plowing for uh, a local company that's been around a long time. He's been around like 20 some years. He has a lot of plowing accounts, uh, commercial accounts, and we do a lot of subbing. We sub a lot of work from him that he was not. Look how ice this thing is. Solid ice. Everything is just ice. Ice, ice, ice. So anyway, he, uh, we sub a lot of accounts from him, and uh, we do a lot of work from him. So like I, was, I said in my recent Instagram post, uh, cooperate with your competition, not compete. You know, work with them. Like, for for example, when I first started, I was a one-man show. I was the I was the operator. I was a shoveler. I was a mechanic. I did everything. And on the, I like I was running like 35, 40 accounts, a couple of small commercial, a couple of small townhouses, and a bunch of residentials. And on the very first one, the, the pump on my plow went out. And I, so I, I had like a ton of plowing to do. It was like a six-inch event. So I started calling around a bunch of local guys. I was like, hey, does anyone have a truck? Does anyone have a truck, uh, an extra truck they're not using or a skid or something? And I ended up getting a hold of a guy that I've known for a long time. Um, that he's like, oh, yeah, sure. He's like, uh, take the paw off your truck and we'll swap trucks. I'll pull around my skid steer with yours. And then he had a Dodge with a, a Boss V-Pow on it. So then he swapped trucks and I was able to use that to finish my route. And like, so, you know, it's like connections like that are like, it's, just, it's like a must in this industry. Uh, like I see, I see a guy out there working. I'll see him working in town. I'll go up to him, random guy, give him a card, talk to him a little bit, whatnot. There was a local contractor in uh, right in town. I I heard I heard about him. I kind of he lived right at the main drag. So one day I stopped over there and knocked on his door. I said, Hey Rick, I'm Garrett. It's GM. Here's my card. Here's what I do. All right, sweet. So Calls up a week later. Hey Garrett, I need some excavating done down in Maple Grove on an addition. Could you do it? Sure, go down there and end up doing all kinds of work for him, some patios, some excavation, drainage, all kinds of stuff for him. Just by, if I, if I wouldn't have just went up there and just knocked on his door that one day, we probably would have never found out, never knew who I was, never knew I existed. So yeah, it's, uh, it's important to uh, network, find guys in your area. I mean, a guy out in 10 states away that you met on YouTube or something, that's, that sounds like a big deal, but like, meet guys in your area, guys you see around that you know are doing stuff or working in your area. Um, like today, um, we got, I think we had seven guys going this morning, got all of our townhouses done, all of our commercial, and just had the residentials left, just a few, so me and my brother were pounding away on them, and the guy that borrowed me the truck a couple years ago, he called me, he's like, hey Garrett, he's like, uh, we're behind, um, is there, do you have a guy in a truck or anything, we're, uh, we're behind, we have, to, we have to get some accounts open, it was like 6 o'clock, so we have to get some accounts open by like 7, is there anybody come help out, sure. Have my other guy jump in the truck, go help him out. So it's like, you know, every once in a while you need help because it's uh, tough to take on the world on your own. So every once in a while you need help. And with uh, the right connections, the guy once told me, which I'm sure everyone's heard of saying, it's not always what you know, but who you know. So get out there and meet some people and uh, make some good work relationships. 
we're able to go help him out and yeah it's all good we, what we do is what's ideal is like, people call them like snowbirds people that have homes up here in central minnesota in the winter they head south or whatever so they we they want their driveway kept open to make it look like someone there or whatever so we have a handful of those so that's like and it ought to be done at any certain time it could be done two days after the snow event so that's a nice thing that you can plow all your stuff that's immediate all your normal people normal residentials and whatever and then you go home rest up a little bit and then go plow another go plow for another few hours and make a little extra cash like it's uh it's nice because there's no hurry a lot of them we don't even shovel just go in there open them up plow back to go in front of the garage a couple times whatever you easy so that's uh that's one way to make make a little extra cash on every snow event and uh not have not be rushed or hurried or have them call on you or whatever they don't care so yeah well i'm gonna go and rest up this is supposedly a bunch more snow coming like i said a little bit ago so i'm going to uh rest up and i'm sure i'll lay down and 10 minutes later someone will call me a it's usually how it goes but if any of you are wondering yes i do live in a nice castle it's a 26, 26 foot grand castle um but that's a story for that's a different story for a different time <laughs> All right, not sure when I'll edit this video, but it'll be out eventually. Um, so yeah, we uh, look forward to uh, some more plowing. Overall, everything went pretty smooth, so that's good. No trucks in the ditch, tipped over, no one hurt, nothing like that. So that's that's good. All right, I will uh, see you guys soon.